In this video, we're gonna speculate on the 26.9 BTC version of Bitcoin that was sent over the Satoshi Genesis wallet as it relates to the upcoming COPA trial starting in a week from today. All right, this is your first time seeing a, this channel or hearing about this. There's a trial that's gonna be starting a week from today. It's gonna to be the, the identity, it's going to reveal the identity potentially of Satoshi Nakamoto. It's gonna be, it's about a, a group of, of uh, tech companies called Copa Crypto, Crypto Open Patent Alliance that is suing Dr. Craig Wright. And then there's a counterclaim against a countersuit against BTC core developers, which is also to be heard regarding the copyright issues after that. Dr. Wright's going to be on the stand for what, six days, starting a week from today in a crossfire deposition style, you know, exciting Perry Mason trial of the century matter. According to the internet legend stuff and all the way going back to, let's say 2015, 2016, when Dr. Wright was out uh, doxed as Satoshi Nakamoto, you know, there's been a lot of uh, uh, negative connotation about saying, hey, well, if you're Satoshi, you know, go ahead and sign some private keys in public. Apparently, according to a bunch of news articles that happened, I think like five times already where he already did that five or six times, uh, you know, and there's also been court testimony that can be read in Kleiman versus Wright uh, for one. And uh, for sure that that could be read in there if somebody wanted to dig up the depositions from uh, Gavin Andreessen and John Metonis. And then also in the uh, the Norway trial, uh, which was the hot not trial where you had testimony from Stefan Matthews and also other other uh, old school people that write new at the time. So there is evidence that's already been put forward about the, the signing and the keys into court courts, let's say yet the determination of those private keys has not been, has not been made. So that being said, you know, a couple weeks back, some one or some, something or someone, they sent 26.9 BTC to the Satoshi Genesis block. Now this is a, something that should be receiving some critical analysis. Now it's a little bit of fun speculation on what's going on, uh, but I want to just rule out altogether that we're, there was an accident. That's, that was a silly kind of a silly thought that some YouTube p influencers said that that was an accident that maybe BlackRock did that. And that's, that's just not even that that's out. That's not even possible. Okay. I challenge that. That's no accident. And so that leaves, well, who else would do it? Would it be the BTC developer guys would it be the copa guys i i would say rule those two out automatically as well so now it comes back to who did could rock dr wright have done it or somebody in his influence or satoshi himself or if it isn't dr wright so let's see you know let's just kind of do a little critical thinking on this so you know satoshi generated a self-signing uh signature in the genesis block by intentionally choosing a signature with an ephemeral key uh, from which the private key could be de derived and made a signature valid. Now the signature, it contained uh, 128 hex characters in the output field in the Coinbase transaction, which are normally considered to be public keys. Here they represent a signature components S and R. The signature signs a message containing both the famous text message and the signature itself. The links to the Satoshi signature's identity in the Genesis block creation. So. You know, Satoshi also used an invalid public key as the output, so the coins couldn't be spent normally. But Satoshi could prove his identity by showing that he had secrets to verify the self-signed signature. Now, this elaborate method, potentially put together by Satoshi, could prove that he identified that he has possession. He identified, you know, to be identified if needed to show to a courtroom and identify the actual possession of those keys without giving away or unraveling the Genesis block. So the real public key is also a secret. So basically, you know, as a last resort, Satoshi could come forward and reveal the Genesis block through this, through this technical method. Now that, now the possibility of that prior to these 26.9 Bitcoin being sent into the court, mm, I would say we're probably pretty low. However, now that those are there and and the other side, the COPA side is stating that they're going to win, they're going to pound their chest, there's all these things, reasons they're going to win. Well, let's just say that according to the last six testimonies and the people who have uh, witnessed Dr. Wright from signing, that he does actually have those keys and that he's going to sign those in front of a court order, on court order. That would only be on 
court order. Apparently, probably be a last resort thing, but it, but it, according to the record in that case, which you can find on the Bitcoin was defensefund.org, I believe it is, you can read the record which says that there was an order for Dr. Wrightside to pay the BTC developers about 1.1 million euro or approximately something along those lines or to put it in, into, a, into an escrow. So apparently, according to court order, if that order goes through, well, that order could be, right, could be ordered to pay the BTC developers in the form of currency which they, they support, which is BTC, which would be a natural fit for them to accept it. Why wouldn't they accept BTC as a form of payment? You know, so they are BTC developers. I mean, that would be ludicrous to think that though we don't want BTC. Now that doesn't, does not take away from the, po the possibility that more likely than not, he's already got some sort of an escrow in there with uh, euros or whatever his attorney's already put in. But this is just a whole nother angle. I would say, you know, if I were looking at it from a strategy side, uh, it's more likely than not some sort of a, of a, of a parachute pull that if the court is ordered, you know, rights ordered to do such a thing at the trial, then he would he would event then he would be ordered to sign and therefore under court order he would he would sign and those private keys proving the case hey you know speculation it's having a little bit of fun however uh, it's sure you know ruling the uh, complete possibility of a of an accident out this is no accident okay there's no question about that this is calculated and it's no, more likely than not, I, it's, on the, it's on the right side. It's on the Satoshi side. There's no question about it. Okay, guys. So that's uh, having a little fun with the speculation on this. This is Gavin Mail. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, share the video, get the message out there about the COPA trial. I got some incredibly exciting uh, people I'm be meeting here over, the, over this week that I'm setting up and discussing strategy with and, and talking about it. You can watch one of the previous videos I put out about that. And... I'll put a hand cash link below if you want to send tips about the upcoming trial. I'm up in the air on whether or not I'm going to go or not. I could fly out. It's about $5,000 total uh, accommodations to go and, and be, stay there. So uh, I'd have to do some sort of a fundraiser or be sponsored. So that may happen, may not. You know, right now I'm leaving it in the almighty's hands. All good. I'm excited to be here no matter what. So I'll keep you posted and uh, see you at the very top.